Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your January 2019 reading. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. I know I'm getting these out a little bit later than I expected. I was having some mic issues, some technical difficulties, but we're back. So let's get started. This is your January 2019 reading. Also, your 2019 will be linked up here. It is already available for you to check it out. Um, thank you guys so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Uh, I really do appreciate all of you guys. You have no idea. For those of you that have sent me donations, uh, purchased items from my Amazon wish list, you guys are just so freaking amazing. Thank you guys so much. So let's get started. I will start off with a general reading and then um, pull some oracles. Also, I will do the love life reading at the second portion of this reading. So singles and couples love life reading will be at the end of this as well. So stick around for the whole thing or, you know, fast forward if you feel like this isn't resonating for you. So remember, this is a general reading. Not all general readings will resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, so let's get started. What does Cancer need to know for January 2019? What is the most important message for Cancers? Don't stop. Okay, two more cards. The initial message I got for that don't stop is for those of you that are making some major changes in your life, look for a sign. You're on the right path. You're doing great. If you, you know, started a, a lifestyle change, a healthy diet, uh, budgeting, you know, money situation, whatever it may be, whatever personal growth life changes that you have been working on, looking for another job, promotion, you know, something with partnership, family, don't stop. Keep moving forward. If you're looking for a sign that wondering, am I doing the right thing? Is all this time, work, effort worth it? Look for a sign. It's there, Cancer. One more card, please. The answer is no, and it's an emphatic no. That's the one that's like, nope, don't even think about it. Don't even do that. Don't, don't, don't. Trust in divine timing. You will get the no answer when it is not for you. And you must trust the universe that when they say no to something, it is for your highest good. Okay, so here we go. Don't stop. Look for a sign and the answer is no. So for some of you, all three apply. For some of you, maybe one, maybe two. We'll find out. Let's, let's get clarifying here. Don't stop if you're hard at work at something. Perhaps some of you were not getting along in your work environment. You weren't letting anything or anyone cut you down. Give me a second. So two of wands, okay. Whatever your plans were, when it came to working towards working hard towards something, whatever your goals were, don't stop. There, there will always be negative nallies, people trying to cut you, people trying to say, no, why are you doing that? That's so stupid. I, don't listen to their negativity. All they end up doing is toying with your mind, wondering if you're making the right decision, bouncing their negative thoughts with your positive thoughts, your optimism. So don't let them take up space in your mind when it comes to that. The Ten of Wands. Letting them take up any type of, you know, of your time emotionally, mentally is just not worth it. It weighs way too heavily on you. So let's move on. Look for a sign. Queen of Cups. Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups. Okay, we've got two sevens here. Oh, three sevens. Seven of Wands. Okay. Look for a sign. If you feel like you can't trust anyone, if you feel like something underhanded, something shady, they're pulling the wool over your eyes, guess what, honey, cancer, they are. They absolutely are. There is a need for you to stand your ground. Love yourself. I have a feeling here that you've got this very sly wolf in sheep's clothing showing this very sweet and darling side of them 
very loving and encouraging, but man, are they trying to scam you, trying to pull the wool over your eyes. You've got to stand your ground. Do not let them take up space in your mind. Don't, don't overthink the situation. You know what I'm talking about. And you may have been thinking, I don't know, I can't trust that person. And people are like, why? You're just, you know, it's all you that, you know, there's no reason why you can't know. Trust your gut. There's a sneaky feeling here about this person. Mm -mm. I feel it too. There is a person here that you can't trust. Look for that final sign, that that nail in the coffin that you need to just finally, you know, realize that you can't trust that person, that they're up to no good, that they're scammers, that they're liars, they're cheaters, they're manipulators. And there is, it's not about proving to anyone showcasing the fact that this person can't be trusted because then you're going to look like the crazy one here, but it is about protecting yourself. Because the minute you almost have this obsessive need to show everyone their nice, sweet, caring, generous side is all an illusion, they're really sneaky and manipulative, you can't trust them, people start thinking you're the jerk, you're the asshole, you're the bitch, you're hating, why are you being drama? There's no need for you to make them look bad to prove your point. Because trust me, people like that, they don't need help. If you, you just happen to be ahead of the game here, that true side of them will absolutely reveal itself on its own. You've just got to trust me on that. Do it to protect yourself. Whether this is a family situation, if someone, if a family member comes in, look at that. You've got two twos, three sevens, and two tens. If this is a family situation, a family member, someone who comes back in out of nowhere out after they haven't been around for some time and you're like, no, something's up here. You've got your reasons not to trust, right? So if someone's trying to come back in saying, hey, you know, I'm thinking of moving to wherever you're from, you know, like I'm in LA and this is a family member that lives in another state, another country. And they're like, Hey, you know, I'm wondering if I can stay at your place until I get it together. I'm, you know, I've got this job waiting for me, but I don't know how I'm going to make it. You know, they're really sugarcoating it. They're laying it on thick. I'll help you with whatever you need in your home. You know, I, I will, you know, pick up the kids for you, do your laundry, clean your house, just, you know, for room and board while I look for a place to stay. And you just have this feeling like it's just going to backfire on you. It's just going to backfire on you. So if they are trying to come back into your home, maybe this is your ex. Maybe this is an ex that didn't, it didn't work out. You kick them out and they come back in. I've changed. I promise to help you. They end up being freeloaders. They promise you stability, emotional fulfillment, love, happiness, being able to move forward, everything you can possibly dream of that you start to contemplate, are they a better person? Do they finally have their shit together? Can we move forward together towards this happy life, happy wife, happy home, wife, husband, partnership, children? Trust your gut. Can't tell you what to do here, but when you've got that Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Wands, man, let me tell you, that is, you're playing with fire. You've got to be careful. Just watch your back, Cancer. That's all I'm feeling here. All I can tell you is watch your back. There is some underhandedness here, underlying manipulation. Guardian Angel Tarot Cards. What is the most important message Cancer needs to take away from this? January 2019. Healer of emotion. 
This is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You or another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. So is your loving, kind, caring, tender-hearted, emotional side of you being taken for granted, being taken advantage of? Is this you as the Queen of Cups and they see you as a mark? I'm going to move in and I'm going to come back in and I'm just going to show them everything that they truly want and I'm going to convince them and, you know, trust your heart. Follow your intuition. Cancers, you've got, you have got a great connection with your intuition. Choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. If you want to allow this person to come in, understand that there needs to be ground rules that you should not allow them to manipulate you, but stand your ground. Sure, you could stay with me. You got six months. These are the rules. This is what I expect from you or you're out. Stand your ground. They need to know that they can't come in and sweet talk you. These are my expectations. What are you going to do about it? And so open your heart. Allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time and now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. Okay, last card before I move on to the love life portion. Seven of thought. <clears throat> You've been confused about a situation in your life and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend, or discovered on your own. It feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. So if this person comes in and offers you the world, offers to be this perfect partner that you were hoping for 5, 10, 15 years ago. They want to work things out. Maybe this is a family member that's known to be a little sneaky and under, underhanded. You know, take some time to really think about it. Don't be impulsive about the decisions you're willing to make. How will this person fit into your routine, into your home? Do you trust them with your belongings, with your children? You know, it's those kinds of things. Don't make such a quick decision on this. It is really absolutely okay for you to take the time to really think about the situation if you have a spouse who lives with you a partner and now suddenly you're taking in a child a relative a family member um, you know and this is something that you really need to talk to your partner about you can't make this decision alone and it is okay there is nothing wrong for you to say you know what uh, I'm not, I don't live alone. I've got my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my wife, my partner, my mother, whoever you may live with. And it is absolutely okay for you to say, you know, you're going to have to give me some time. And then we'll, we'll try to come up with some sort of common ground here to make this happen. Okay. So just know cancer that it is absolutely okay for you to do that. Make an informed decision. So straight up single cancers. For the month of January 2019, what is blocking them from having the love life that they want? Straight up singles. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If you're not feeling as though you can open up to people, as though you can't maybe ask that, that coworker out. You've been attracted to them. You guys get along. Maybe you want to ask them out. Ask them for coffee separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so some of you are straight up single because you are separated from your partner maybe you're going through a divorce you're in the middle of that 
uh, separation and divorce. <clears throat> it is okay to express your love to the next person that you're hoping for. The message I just got for someone very specific here. Guess what? Guess who you've got to express your love to? Yourself, Cancer. If you are going through a divorce, a breakup, a separation, if this feels like this is over and done with, you're not single because your partner's overseas, because your partner's out of town. You're straight up single because that relationship or that marriage that you were in didn't work out. And maybe you've been depressed, you can't get out of bed and you're just like, how can I bring this person back to me? What do you miss? What do you miss about that relationship? The routine? The fact that you have someone in your life? Wouldn't you rather be with someone that you can make a life with? Someone that wants to be there with you? Remember, this is a general reading. It can go vice versa. Don't go back to a partner just to have a partner. Partnerships take two people. What's the point of a partnership if you're not happy? And so express your love to yourself. Take the time to heal, to care for yourself. Self-love, self-care go a long way. When you start healing, giving yourself that love that you need to heal, to be able to see the goodness in you, to be able to even be optimistic about your future, you allow for a brand new relationship to come in and therefore you unblock yourself and end the single dumb, right Cancer? So let's see, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. <clears throat> the tower, okay, who's reading that I just do that had the same thing? I believe I just did Gemini's, so. This is a wake up call, King of Wands. Some of you feel like you're in the middle of your tower moment because of this separation leading to divorce, someone moving out. The chariot, that is your card, Cancer. One more card. And the Nine of Cups, okay. Wish fulfillment, make yourself happy so that the next person that comes in sees what a wonderful, loving, kind human being you are who doesn't see you for the brokenness, the depression, the pain that you've suffered, who sees you for all the goodness in you, who wants to charge ahead and make a future with you. You'll feel such love and kindness and joy and peace and passion with this person that you realize this separation had to happen. That was your wake up call. Maybe you feel like you're not in a position to be with anyone other than this person. No, honey, your wake up call is the fact that you got to love yourself to be able to receive that loving new partner that's waiting for you to heal. The high priestess, they also, Gemini also got that here. And this is a completely different deck than what I use too. I use the other deck. Seven of Pentacles. Wow, they also got the Queen of Wands, which Queen of Wands looks the same as on the other deck. This is the Thelema Tarot deck, and I was using the Arcanum. Page of Wands. So here we go. You may have felt as though this was your one and only partner for life, soulmate partnership. There was this intense attraction, chemistry with this person. You, could, you just can't see yourself with anyone else. The truth is that this relationship came in to teach you a lesson and now it's time to connect with yourself. What did it teach you? You're thinking after all this time and effort, nothing pays out in the end of this. It did. You're just missing the point right now. The right person, the right offer will come in as you love yourself enough to heal from this because there is a lesson here that you need to learn from. Absolutely you do. Whispers of Love Oracle, what is the love life lesson here? What is the most important message cancers need here? Okay, I had two cards fly out. 
this oracle is for both singles and couples. So act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are here with you so you will always consider them. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. So, again, this is a situation that we have here. This is your wake-up call. You know that there is something, that there is a need to learn from this situation, from this breakup, from this separation. This has been a very harsh ending for you. You probably felt like you don't know how in the world you're going to get out of this situation, how you're even going to get ahead. Remember that you are the cancer, the chariot card. You can charge ahead victoriously, create that wish fulfillment that you want and see this as a blessing in disguise. Everything has its gift. Remember that with that seven of pentacles where you feel as though you put so much time, work and effort into something that didn't pay out. You're just not seeing it yet. Okay. Cancer singles. That was your message. Let me move on to couples before I end this reading. So let's move on. Cancer couples, married, dating, serious relationships, right? Cancer couples. What is the most important message for cancer couples, married and dating, in betweeners? For the month of January 2019, two cards, please. Cancer. January 2019. Too many cards. I will show them to you before I put them back in. Look at that. Wow, lots of them. Take your pick, whichever one applies to you, <laughs> if that was for someone. Two cards, please. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This is for cancer couples, married, dating, in-betweeners, right? So some of you want children, others don't. Some of you just found out you're expecting and you're just not sure how your partner is going to handle it because you may have had an understanding that... There will be no children in this relationship. So there is a need for heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You are worried that you're going to be met with a brick wall, with some resistance when you say, you know what, I think it's time we have children. You know what, I'm going through, you know, for somebody here that's going through child support and custody court, family court, you're thinking of taking full custody of your children. And that is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation you need to have with your current partner. Maybe you're not married, but you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that lives with you that maybe they are not prepared. It's a judgment call that you need to make. Maybe they are not prepared for that. So whatever your situation here, there is a need for heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So here we go. Clarify the children card, Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords, Heart to Heart Conversations with the Sun card. There we go. It is absolutely about children and family. The Strength card. Okay, this is a really quick message for you guys. Look, the bottom line here is wherever you stand when it comes to children, wherever your partner stands where you come to children, there's an absolute need for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. If you have one idea of what this is going to be like for a future with this partner, maybe you just moved in together and you're afraid to bring up the children card. Maybe you haven't even thought about it. Maybe it's never even been a question that's come up in your relationship and you're starting to realize, hey, we've never talked about this. Maybe it's time we have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but you are really afraid of it, or they might be afraid of it. You're afraid they're not going to be receptive. But once you speak your truth and you give yourself that open space, that freedom to speak, but also the freedom 
from meeting them with resistance. Be open to listening to them, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, whatever it is or wherever you stand when it comes to children. Maybe you have children and you and your partner may have already said no more kids, we're stopping at two and maybe you're like, hey, you know, I wouldn't mind having another one and you've been dropping hints left and right and haven't actually had that conversation. It's just kind of been like dropping hints and the more hints you drop, the more it feels like a weight on you because now you're starting to realize, oh man, I really do want another one now that I think about it, but what if they don't? So there is a need for you to find your inner strength to be able to make that judgment call, whatever it may be for you guys. This isn't a really big, huge conversation is what I feel. You're adding on the pressure to the situation. This is self-imposed fear, worry, and pressure. No matter what the situation, this has a very happy ending at the end of it. So take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. That is your January 2019 reading, Cancer. That was a really simple reading. I feel that you guys had some very easy, specific messages that came about. I know some of my other signs had longer readings, uh, but this one felt very, very specific. I'm going to pull Angel Therapy Oracle cards for you. Single, dating, doesn't matter. Any, any uh, Cancer here. Shield yourself, protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Again, this Ten of Wands is self-imposed. You're putting yourself through fear, through worry that maybe you'll be rejected. Maybe you're not going to hear the answer, the response that you want to hear. I will pull one more card before I move on. Yeah. Yeah. Cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. So if you have been in relationships where all you've heard is, you know, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have children. I don't want children. Cut your cords from those old destructive relationships that made you feel inadequate, that made you feel like you couldn't have children. How dare you? I don't want you to have children. I don't want children. Whatever fear you have around, whether it's children or even just being able to communicate, you may have this fear of being unable to communicate because with your ex, like any little thing you brought up, it was just craziness. Fight automatically. Balance your chakras because this heart and throat chakra both flew out. Speak from the heart. Speak from the heart. You need to take some time to clear your chakras. Put, you know, blue soda light, blue calcite, um, rose quartz. Um, if you have um, any of those quartz uh, crystals, just lay down, listen to some healing, loving, positive energy meditation, earbuds on, put these on on your chakras, lay there and really connect with yourself. How can you make this easier for yourself? Do it. Cancer, you need to do this for yourself, okay? Don't put yourself on this, under this overwhelming stress. There is no basis or purpose for it. It leads to nowhere. So there you go, Cancer. This has been your January 2019 reading. I will link the 2019 yearly forecast that is already out if you have not seen it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, please use the links in the description box below to book. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.